What's going on guys, this is yet again another tutorial on um, uh, Adobe After Effects CS6, uh, but this should work with any Adobe After Effects, I'm pretty sure. But the effect that we are going to pull off today is paying homage to the beautiful franchise Man of Steel and the Superman franchise. I uh, recently watched Man of Steel, oh my god. Brilliant, Zack Snyder and Christopher Nolan have done it again. Brilliant, brilliant. I love the film. I love the shots. It's a very good storyline. And they uh, put a bit of realistic uh, human in Superman. If you watch the other movies, it's not the, the... The Supermans aren't that great. But this one, I actually felt like he's part human and an alien. But in the other ones, he's always just an alien. You don't really believe that he's part of our... Our world, but in this one they they did a lot of realistic things, and, uh, cool things to it. And one of the coolest things, part of this movie, is of course the visual effects, because we know in Zack Snyder's film he has to add the best visual effects possible to make the film more realistic. So one of the film, uh, one of the visual effects that caught my attention within the film has been done in all the Superman movies, and I bet you know what that effect is. The flying effect, guys, come on. It was one of the most amazing effects, and the way they shot it as well was just super cool. So, that's what the effect that we're going to try to pull off today. And uh, the footage that you're going to be needing is basically something like this. So, have your actor, or me, <laughs> mostly uh, me. So, have your actor, or uh, you, to come into the frame. Make sure this is filmed on a tripod, or, uh, um, by the way. If you don't have a tripod, just make sure your friend is uh, securing the camera very steady and make sure he doesn't shake it. But as you can see, it, uh, it's a very slow shot because it was on my tripod. But all you need to do is have one of these things, a clean plate. And this is important, uh, very important because there's going to be a lot of masking involved in this uh, effect. So as you can see, we have me running into frame and then bam, I jump up like that. So make sure you jump and then move out of frame and just get your clean plate. So what we're going to do is we are going to drop that footage into our timeline. And we are going to trim it to, let's see, six seconds should be fine. Let's trim that down. Move it in. And let's just go frame by frame until we see the exact moment I'm highest in the air. Right about there. Trim down. And stop. Perfect. Okay, now we are going to duplicate this uh, footage. So let's just bring this in. Here we go. Edit and duplicate. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go a few more frames and find once again the exact moment when I'm highest in the air. Then we will select the first one, go to time, freeze frame. So now what we should get is this. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to select the masking tool and we are going to do a quick and easy mask around your actor. This here. Alright, stop masking. It's going to take a while. Okay, so you should have this now, and you do that. All right, so this is our mask, and as you can see, it's not the best. I mean, it can uh, you can make it obviously better, but it's just a quick mask, quick draft. Uh, but anyways, what we have now is if we were to move this a couple frames, like that. And then we move this all the way back 
like this make it a bit larger now what we should have is this all right so and it just freezes in the air so we get this time freeze but this is why we need the clean plate this is why i was telling you guys you need the clean plate now we're going to select this footage again and we are going to find our clean plate which is right here and we are going to drag that down and we are going to make sure it's at the same level as this clip so and it is okay so this is what we should get now thanks to our clean plate so if we were to move the clean plate we just get a black a thing behind our actor but thank god we have a clean plate so now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, select the top clip, go to transform, and go to position, go a few more frames, I don't know, like that, and move it up, like that. And what we should get is this. Alright, so, and a bit more frames, because it's a bit too fast. Here we go. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so, that is what we should get when uh we finish so as you can see we almost have pretty much the effect let's just look at it when it's all said and done and here it is okay that's actually not that bad uh but now we still have to add many things now if we look at the footage originally it looks like this so i'm just gonna get it out oh, okay that was the sound uh this is what it should look like uh as you can see what we notice here is we get this little circle and this earthquake effect, which I downloaded off footage crate. But this little circle thing you see here that comes, that was done in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to pre-compose this. So we're going to go um, highlight all of it and go to layer, pre-compose, and we'll name it Super Man Jump press ok so this is what we should have and it, it's just more organized when it, you pre-compose it it doesn't really do much it just makes it more organized ok so what we're going to do now is we are going to create a layer new solid and we're going to make it white so just press ok then we are going to select the ellipse tool and we are just going to make a quick circle like so and once that is done, we are going to do um, a quick and easy a dust wave out of the effect. So let's just do that. Okay guys, uh, so I'm back. And sorry, I just had to take a little break. My uh, webcam was about to shut off. But anyways, uh, so this is where we left off. Just this plain circle, nothing special about it. But now, we are going to go to... Um, uh, mass expansion so let's go I'll show you that again you go here you go to masks and what we're gonna do is we are gonna go a couple frames so select mass expansion go let's say two frames and make sure your expansion is like all the way down so where you can't even see it now go uh, a couple more frames and bring it all the way up like that and you can even make the uh, so, move it, and that's what we should get. Alright, so it doesn't look that great, I know, but we haven't finished. Now what we have to do is we have to uh, select the mask, and we have to go edit, duplicate. Now we are going to go subtract. And now, if you look at it, we, basically you don't really see it because it's really thin. You can kind of see the outline of it. But if we make this a bit larger, and we go a couple more frames you notice this is it right here now let's go select that and go to the expansion and make it even more uh, bigger so like this. That big. so now what we should get is this in the mouth we should get this all right so it's a bit too big just let me shrink that a bit more and, and now it's plate and uh, 
All right, so that's our shop way for now. We are not done though. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, make it look like it actually belongs within the scene. So what we are going to do is we are gonna go find the exact moment of where it ends. Uh, right about there is good. Get rid of that one. Let's drag that out of here. All right. So this is what you should get. All right. So perfect. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose this. So let's go layer. Pre-compose, and we'll make it shockwave. So let's take a shockwave. Sorry, that took a while back there. Uh, just need to make sure it was on. Perfect All right, so this one's called shockwave. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go effect, go to stylize, and go to roughen edges. So now what we should get is this. Now if we select the border to, I think. 75 should be good. It's like the edge sharp sharpness to uh, that much. You get a pretty convincing little dust. More like a dust wave actually. Uh, so, now what we're going to do is we are going to make it a 3D layer. So, to make it 3D, just go where it says toggle switches and mode and make it 3D like that. Now, we will uh, go down and just go to transform and we will go make it Z, Z space, so Z rotation. And let's go a couple more frames. Here. Uh, and let's select it. Let's put like down here. Right when it uh, jumps, it should go up. So about here maybe. Alright, no, not there, obviously. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Alright, first of all, it needs to be a bit bigger, I'm pretty sure, so let's make it like that big. No, let's zoom in. And let's go. Um, Alright, well. Uh, that will do. So, alright, so here we go. Okay, now what we're going to add now is uh, we are going to select this earthquake effect that I got off footagecrate.com. Uh, it's I'll put a link maybe in the description. I don't really know how to put links. Someone should comment me on how. I'm not good with YouTube, okay? I'm good with editing. <laughs> but, uh, um, alright, so this is what we should get now. And, uh, like that. Okay, so the shockwave, when it goes, and let's make it maybe a bit faster because it's a bit slow. So we'll make it like, like 50. Well, we'll make it 40. That's pretty good. And we will do that and this. Make it like that. Maybe make it even a bit smaller, this thing. Alright. So, this is what we should get. So, it looks pretty cool so far, honestly. I'm being honest here. Let's look at it again. Alright, so. Now we're going to add a dust wave to it. So, let's add a, a dust wave at screen. Which I also got off footagecrate.com. And we will make it pretty big. Like maybe like that big. And we will add it here, and here we go. 
And here we go. Okay, so here it is. That's what we get so far. It looks pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, pre-compose all of it. So let's go pre-compose, and we will just go like that, and we will go frame, and we go edit split layer, and we will go layer new adjustment layer, and and this is optional by the way. It's like more like color correction. So let's go effect color correction occurs. And you will do that. You will go to red. Not like that. And then you will go to green. No. No, it just gives it makes it look a bit better. In my perspective. Actually, I don't really like the green, so I think I'll take out the green. No, maybe the blue. Red. Okay. So. Look at it. All right. So, honestly, it looks pretty cool. And that's how you do uh, the Superman effect from Man of Steel and Adobe After Effects. Uh, and thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I will be putting out another one very soon. So uh, please subscribe. And